Hi, welcome to this tutorial on how to create your own brush and use it for photo effects and manipulations in Photoshop. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a cloud brush that can be used to add clouds, textures, atmospheric haze, fog or smoke-like effects to your photos. This technique can be used to create unique and creative photo manipulations, giving your images a professional and artistic touch. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First, select any photo with clouds. When selecting a photo, sky photo, feel free to choose any image that catches your eye. It could be majestic sunset, a dreamy cloudy sky or breathtaking starry night, whatever it is, but make sure it has clouds. I but I recommend you to use this simple image like this one. Once you have chosen your photo, navigate to the channels panel in Photoshop. Channels or grayscale images that represent the different color channels, red, green and blue of an image. Now here is the pro trip. Look for the channel that has the most contrast among three channels. In my case, the red channel tends to have more contrast. Not in my case, in most of the cases, red channels tends to have the more contrast, making it an ideal choice for creating a custom brush to duplicate the red channel simply drag and drop it on the plus icon in the channels panel this creates a duplicate channel that you can use to create your custom brush duplicating the channel allows you to work with separate copy preserving the original image intact this way you can make adjustments and modifications to the duplicated channel without affecting the original photo once you have duplicated the red channel now we will make some adjustments to the duplicated channel to fine tune Go to image menu, then choose adjustments and click on levels. This will open up the levels adjustment window. You can darken the dark areas of the duplicated channel by adjusting the sliders. If you want, you can also make adjustments to the white. Make sure you have to adjust the dark areas to the black. So once you've done that, simply click OK to apply them. Next, let's copy the duplicated channel. You can do this by selecting the entire channel using Ctrl or Command plus A and then copying with Ctrl or Command plus C. Now go back to Layers panel and paste the duplicated channel as a new layer using Ctrl or Command plus V, keyboard shortcut. Now to create a custom brush, we need to invert the layer. You can do this easily by using Ctrl or Command plus I shortcut. This will flip the tones of the layer. If these steps seems a bit confusing at first, with a little practice, you will become familiar with the process and be able to create your own custom brushes. After inverting the layer, go to the edit menu and select define brush preset. This will allow you to create a brush preset from your custom brush. You can give your brush a name that's meaningful to you. Something like cloud brush or atmospheric effect brush, whatever, it, whatever you want. Once you have named your brush, click OK to save it. Your cloud brush is now ready to use. You can use it to add realistic clouds to your photos create texture backgrounds or even add atmospheric haze, fog or smoke like effects to your designs. The possibilities are endless. For this fun and creative idea, we will start with an ice cream cone photo. Instead of the usual ice cream on top of the cone, we will use our cloud brush to add a fluffy cloud like effect, giving the impression that the photo is tricked and was taken with a smartphone. First add the sky layer to your photo by dragging and dropping it below the hand layer. Make sure the sky layer is positioned correctly to create a natural and seamless blend. Next you may notice that the colors of the sky and hand layer don't quite match. There's lots of greens on hand layer. You can easily fix this by adding a color lookup adjustment layer to the sky layer. Choose the green toning option to match the green tints on the hand layer. By making these adjustments, you will ensure that the colors of the sky and hand layer complement each other and create a harmonious composition in your photo manipulation. It's all about paying attention to the details and fine tuning until you achieve the desired result. Now grab the brush tool and set white as your foreground color. Before you start painting on the ice cream cone, let's adjust some brush settings to make it more dynamic and interesting. Go to the brush settings and change the spacing to 50%. You can adjust this to your preference. 
Next, under shape dynamics, set the size jitter to 100% and angle jitter to 100%. This will give your brush a varied size and angle, adding a natural and organic feel to your brush strokes. To further enhance the effect, go to the transfer settings and set opacity jitter to 50%. This will add some opacity variations to your brush strokes, creating a more realistic look. Once you are done with the brush settings, close the settings window and you are ready to paint on the ice cream cone with your newly customized brush. Experiment with different brush strokes, sizes and angles to achieve the effect. After customizing your brush settings, create a new blank layer and name it Cloud. Now select your Cloud brush and start clicking on the areas to add clouds each click will give you a different size shape and angle adding a natural and varied look to your clouds make sure to place this layer below the ice cream cone layer since the focus of the photograph is mainly on the hand holding the ice cream cone it's important to create a sense of depth by adding some blur to the background to achieve this let's apply gaussian blur to the cloud layer go to filter menu select blur and then choose Gaussian Blur. Experiment with different blur settings until you achieve the desired level of blurriness in the clouds. Keep in mind that the amount of blur will depend on size and distance of the clouds from the focal point, the hand holding the cone. By adding Gaussian Blur to the cloud layer, you will create a realistic depth of field effect that mimics the way a camera focus on the foreground subject while blurring the background. This will make the hand and ice cream cone stand out as the main focus of the photo, adding depth and dimension to your manipulation. Take your time and have fun with the process. There is no hurry. Photo manipulation is all about unleashing your creativity and making your vision come to life. So enjoy the journey and keep experimenting until you are satisfied with the result. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful in creating simple photo effects with cloud brush. Thank you for tuning in to PS Desire Photoshop tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with our latest exclusive videos. Hit that bell icon so you won't miss any future tips and tricks. Looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care and happy editing.